Hey y'all, this is TT, and you are now tuned into That's the Story. And I told y'all, if y'all send me emails, I will do every Wednesday reading three, and I will give y'all my thoughts and my help on questions that you had. And so I'm gonna go on and start out because bitch, I don't like to talk too much with all this extra bullshit. So it's TT Too Real, TT Too Real. That's R E A L L at gmail.com. Yes, me. This is from Amanda Simmons. She says, I've been with my boyfriend for a year and a half now. We met and it, for a while it was him being all full force and high sex drive. It took me a while to get to that point. Now that I know he's the right one and I love him, my sex drive and my gestures are high and he has to slow down. I guess he's getting too comfortable or he's just not excited anymore. Please help me, Amanda from Michigan, Detroit. Amanda, girl, I'm going to keep it motherfucking real, child. Your boyfriend has moved on or he's found him another kitty cat that's kitty is purring. And he don't need your kitty to purr for him no more. Because when he was trying to get your kitty to purr, you had your kitty locked up in a cage. And he wanted to pat it. And since you didn't let him pat that kitty cat, he done found him a new kitten. And so now he's, you know... I guess he's over there playing around until that kitty scratch or bite and then he's going to try to come back to you. So girl, I'm just going to tell you now, don't sweat it because you were over there being, you know, you was faithful, you were saving yourself and it's good that a girl, it's good that you were the type of girl that wanted to, you know, make sure he was the right one and you didn't want to put out and let him misuse you or get what he wanted and then move on. So it's okay. Now that your feelings are all wrapped up in him and you ready to motherfucking put that thundercat on him, girl, and he don't want your thundercat, don't worry about it. Do not worry about it. Because that kitty cat that he done got already might have fleas. And those fleas might just bite. And then he going to be over and he might want to bring you those fleas. So, girl, if you decide to stay with him, just be cool because and, and wrap it up. Because I don't want him to send you no fleas and then you start scratching and you wonder what happened. Because you were saving your kitty cat for this boy and now he don't went off to some other cat. Some stray cat. But no, seriously though, I'm glad that you did save yourself. It's good that you were the type of girl to save yourself to make sure he was the right boy. I mean, and if he has stuck around this long, then maybe there's something in you that he still likes. So just because he's done dibbled and dabbled in somebody else's litter box or whatever, don't mean you gotta let him go. But... The fact that he's still there shows something. Ask him, what's wrong? Are you not into me anymore? Because now I'm trying to motherfucking play this game. I'm trying to throw this pussy on you. And you act like you don't even want it. And if he starts to act foolish and he don't know what you're talking about, then girl, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You know your, you know your motherfucking kitty cat fresh. Find you somebody else, girl. Don't waste your time on somebody who don't want to be with you. Don't waste your time. Just, you know... With this next nigga, or boy, whatever, save yourself again, girl. And if he's if he waits and then he shows that he's ready to throw it down when you ready to throw it down, bitch. Ugh. You found you the right motherfucking panther, baby. So yeah, it's all right. Don't worry about it, bitch. Don't even worry about it. Don't sweat yourself. Don't stress yourself out worrying about no man. Trust me, there's a lot of men out there. There's a lot of motherfucking dicks out there, girl. And you don't have to worry about his. But yeah, I'm glad you hit me up. And then hopefully I answered your question. He might still be interested. He might still be excited. But if he's not all into you now, it's because he's got him another cat that he's been petting. And he that cat, he making that cat purr. So yeah, girl. So okay, we're going to move on to the next one. This is from Javoisia Lanier. I'm going to slap your mom in the face because it's, I don't know how to pronounce it. I hope this is right. It's J-A-V-O-S-I-E-A. Javoisia Lanier. I don't know. Your mama must have been drunk. Tell her I said, hey, mom. So it says, I used to have a best friend who was a lesbian and her girlfriend got jealous of us being friends. So my supposedly best friend doesn't talk to me anymore. Not only that, the guy I was really close to with doesn't talk to me either. Should I leave it alone or no? Thanks, TT. I, I guess you are a boy. I'm not sure. And so I'm sure your best friend was a feminine girl. She was like, I guess you call those the femme girls and the other ones are studs. That stud is trying to be you, Joyce. I'm gonna just call you JoJo. That stud was trying to be you, JoJo. You understand me? She's trying to be a boy. So she might've felt a little intimidated that JoJo got a penis. 
and she ain't got one. You know what I'm saying? Them little studs, they be they be trying to be a little controlling and shit. They think they all that because they wear a couple of baggy pants and tank tops and put J's on their feet. And they think they niggas and shit. JoJo, you should have slapped that bitch in her face. And see, if your best friend, I understand that when you in a relationship, that your relationship comes first. But when that relationship is over, your best friend is always going to be there. Regardless. So the fact that your best friend stopped talking to you because she wrapped up in some motherfucking pussy ain't even no dick it's pussy your friend wrapped up in some stud pussy i don't want to say she won your friend but she ain't no true friend so be careful who you call your best friends because the best friend ain't gonna let nothing come between y'all bitch ain't no sex that motherfucking well i remember the time that's another story but jojo no don't let um don't let that best friend talk getting wrapped up where they love her get you all worked up because that ain't that don't mean shit. Don't let it get you worked up. She just in love right now. She caught up with her little lover. They over there playing football and shit together, cheerleading at the same time, painting each other's nails and all that shit. You know they both girls. They probably watching damn girl movies, love and hip hop, Atlanta, um, Atlanta Housewives. All that they doing that kind of shit together. She miss you. Her little lover cheat on her. She gonna be calling JoJo. JoJo, what's going on? And you say, girl, I don't know. Fix it. But anyway, don't get stressed out. I don't ever worry about anybody. Don't force nobody to be your friend. If your friend want to be your friend, a real friend's going to be your friend. I don't know if your friend going through something. They just need some time, some space. So what you, I'm going to just tell you to do this, JoJo. Call your friend who left you, not the one for the girl, but the other friend, your guy friend. Text him and call him and say, hey, bro, what's up? I mean, did I do something to to upset you, to make you mad? Did I do anything that made you not want to chill with me no more? Because sometimes people just grow apart. Sometimes it's time for y'all to grow apart. And this could be better for you. Because maybe he was holding you back in life and the fact that he's moved on, you need to move on to and focus on JoJo and do better for yourself. And if he tells you it was you, then okay, accept it and see how you can fix it. But if he tells you just because or he don't answer your texts, then bitch, fuck him. I don't ever care. I don't worry about nobody but my motherfucking self. Because, bitch, only you can make you a better person. But all right, JoJo, hopefully I helped you out. Don't worry about that little girl with her girlfriend. They over there going to McDonald's getting some fish filet. <laughs> they over there going to go get some fish filet, bitch, and put some vinegar and shit on it. Don't worry about them. They, they just fished out. So don't worry about them, okay? I love you, JoJo. So this next one comes from Travis Lee. Travis asked me, what are some good ways of saving money? Travis, my address is 149 Honey Creek. <laughs> no, Travis, I'm just playing. Um, Ways of saving money. Stop spending it on stupid shit. Stop spending it. Because, you know, us black people, we like, I can only speak on my race. You know what I'm saying? I'm not white. I'm not Mexican. I'm not Puerto Rican. I'm not any of that. But us black people like to spend money on things that are unnecessary. Like, I mean, we, don't, we all need shoes and clothes. That's common sense. But we like spending it on necessary shit. When you already have 12 shoes in your closet, why are you going to spend it on some more shoes? When you already have outfits, why are you going to spend it on some more outfits? You know what I'm saying? Black people, we will live in a rundown house and spend money on a car when we need to be fixing up our house. I mean, I'm not going to get into all of that. But ways of saving your money, Travis. I don't know if you have a job, but if you have a job and let's say you make what? average jobs now y'all y'all check ain't no more than motherfucking three hundred dollars so three or four hundred dollars i don't know but let's say if you're making 300 because you're young if you're making 300 on your check or whatever you should at least take 100 out of your check i know that sounds like a lot so start start slow take out 50 out of your check if you're making 300 take 50 out and put it away and get a savings account and don't touch it like just put it in a savings account and don't touch it don't worry about it. Or if you have good trust in, uh, like a mom and dad who's trustworthy with money and they're not going to take your money. Because, you know, some of y'all's parents be putting phone bill in y'all's names and shit like that. But if your parents ain't that tight, give it to your parent and let them put it up and let them save it for you. Do that. Um, go to church and pay your tithes. I don't know if you're into Jesus and all that, but pay your tithes and you will get blessed back. Don't go out to eat as much. Don't go to fast food restaurants all the time because that's where I spend a lot of my money. I always go to McDonald's. I always go here and there. Do this. Make a list, right, every, for a whole week. Or if you want to do it for the whole month. See what you spend your money on, okay? See what you spend your money on. Write it down every time. I bought some cigarettes. 
I went to McDonald's. I paid a bill. I paid a bill. I bought some shoes. Write it down. And then by the end of those two weeks when your next check comes, see what you spent money on that you should not have spent money on and then stop doing it. You know what I'm saying? You can do it here and there because all, we all need to have fun. We all need to go to a movie. We all need to go out to eat. We all need to spoil ourselves with some clothes and stuff sometimes. But sometimes we may do it too much and don't know that we're doing it that much. Look at that piece of paper and be like, damn, I really didn't need that. I didn't really have to go there. I just wanted to go there. And you would see the unnecessary things that you're spending your money on. And I really hope that, I'm glad that you are a young man wanting to save your money because that is always good because we all deserve things in life that we need. So, um, yeah, do that. And if that don't work, then write me again and i give you another idea that I can, you know, think of just for you. And um, I hope you can get whatever you want in life because everybody deserves the best. So yes, this is me. This is TT. I'm here to answer these questions. Again, y'all hit me up at TT2 motherfucker real. TT2 real. That's two L's for your motherfucking ass. So that's the story. And y'all hit me back and let me know what's up. I love y'all. This is TT. And bitch, I'm out this motherfucker like what am? <laughs>